Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My programming is fun. Today we will learn how to import the data from Excel into the combo box in VB.NET programming. Friends, whenever we are working of Microsoft Excel application in VB.NET programming, so we have to add a library. The name of the library is Microsoft Excel 16.0 object library. We can add this particular library from the project menu. Click on add friends. And you just need to type Microsoft Excel. Now it is showing. You can click on the chat box and the click OK. As of now, you can access the property of Excel application by this library. So now I am dragging a combo box. And the text box and click on the button. We can rename this button, right click on the button and go to the properties and just type add. Fine. So this is the my workbook where we have the retailer name and their email ID. In this sheet, the retailer name should be added into the combo box and their email ID should be added into the text box. As of now, I'm closing this workbook. Before get and extract the information from Excel, we need to define a using name space. By using name space, we can access the Excel application instance. Means you can say that we can access the object of Excel application. So now I am writing imports Microsoft dot office dot drop dot Excel. So this is the using name space. Now I am declaring a Excel application. Dim Excel application. The new Microsoft dot office dot interop dot excel dot application right now i am declaring a retailer workbook now retailer workbook equals to excel app dot workbooks dot open in the between parentheses we need to paste the address of the retailer workbook now i'm pasting retailer workbook address and now I am declaring our retailer work C. The retailer workbook dot seats one. So this is the declaration part of Excel object. Now I'm going to design the form and click on the combo box. This is the selected index change. And this is the add button where we will write the code to add the retailer name into the combo box so this is the button so now this is the declaration part so then started row as in teaser then total rows as in teaser so first of all, we have to clear the combo box. If anything data available in the combo box, then data should be clear. So clear the data from, from the combo box. So me dot combo box one dot items dot clear. Now I am defining a uh, how many number of rows available in a retailer worksheet? So count the number of rows in the worksheet. So total rows equal to Excel application dot active workbook dot seats. 
वन डॉट रेंज ए वन डॉट करेंट रीजन डॉट रोज डॉट काउंट फाइन नाउ वी हैव टू डिक्लेयर अ लूप टू एड द रिटेलर नेम इन टू द कॉम्बो बॉक्स डिफाइनिंग अ लूप for started row should be two of the retailer worksheet and two total rows me dot combo box one dot text sorry items dot add and in the between parentheses we need to type a retailer worksheet dot Cells should be started from started row, and which column is one? Dot text. We can pass the successful message. Message box. Dot show. Retailer name has been successfully added into the combo. combo box we can also pass the information status combo box status right so this is the designing form so we have already added the retailer name into the combo box now we are showing the email id of the retailer name so uh, when when the selection index change should be change uh, then automatically their email id change according to the text box so now this is once again the we have to write a declaration part uh, so you can get uh, this the private private answer you can click on the uh, combo box and it will get automatically now declaration part at dem i started row as integer is a and dem i total rows as integer so once again we have to count how many rows in the worksheet so you can try you can i and now adding the retailer email ids into the text box fine so so first of all we have to check the combo box Text should be match the retailer worksheet cells. So now I'm you know, defining a loop for i total rows start from two to sorry for i started row should be start from two and goes to i total rows. And if me dot text box. combo box one dot tag should be matched with retailer worksheet retailer worksheet dot cells the i started row comma one dot text if the combo box tags and the retailer worksheet cells first column text should be matched from each other then the add the data into the text box one dot text equals to retailer worksheet dot cells i started row which column should be added column number is 2 dot text now we have done the code part now i am start the programming 
to build so now i'm click on start button so this is start this build is started it will take couple of bits to run the program now it is run so now we need to click on the add button the retailer name has been successfully added into the combo box and and all these email ids and retailer name populated into the form so wow this is working great so as of now uh, friends share this video and subscribe my channel wish you a very very happy learning programming and have a great day